This is a very special day for both of you because today your union will be blessed that you'll become officially husband and wife in the eyes of the church. You're a sunset over velvet hills Soft as lavender and rain Golden sky dressed in daffodils Smile as sweet as sugar cane You know I, I've got so much to say I'll take my time Last year, uh, Christian wedding siya, so ngayon naman it's a Catholic wedding. For Ryan's side, siya request talaga ng family ni Ryan na magkaroon ng Catholic wedding. Of course, ako, personally, okay lang sa akin na ikasal kay Ryan over and over again. <laughs> yes, ganun ko siya ka-love. <laughs> well, kasi um, last year, um, syempre it was COVID season, tapos um, may mga factors like yung guest list at saka yung um, sa, sa mga suppliers that we couldn't control. And actually, we went last year, yung parang intimate na intimate with really uh, close friends and family. So why decide to have this Catholic wedding? when you can very much have just a civil wedding. What's the difference? A civil wedding involves the government. When you get married civilly, the government is assuring you that you'll be protected with the loss of the land in your union as husband and wife. But when you avail of a religious or a Catholic wedding, it changes everything. But one big difference is this. It's not only the government that is involved. You are involving that person over there. You are involving the Lord Jesus and that changes everything. Siyempre, super excited kami na maging parents na. Pero actually, nung una, hindi pa siya nagsising in kasi parang dapat honeymoon muna kami. <laughs> Pero yun, napaagay yung baby. Pero for me, uh, super happy kami dahil blessing talaga siya. Um, actually, ako naman feeling ko uh, excited. Kasi um, parang I've, I've seen uh, um, how yung dad ko, how he raised us um, being father of three kids. Kaya I parang feel myself, see myself being that kind of a role model and also to my, uh, to, to, to my future child. Din. So, um, actually, syempre, I wanted them to um, have uh, a good life. Um, and you know, enjoy every moment, every moment of it, girl. Um, ngayong married na kami, and syempre, nakatira na kami sa isang roof. Um, yung mga na-discover ko sa kanya, I mean, ang nakakatawa kay Ryan, hindi talaga siya nagbabago kung gaano siya ka-caring at kung kano niya um, sinushow yung love niya for me. Hindi talaga siya nag-change and it's still the same guy na I've met eight years ago. Um, at saka, syempre, she's uh, parang always um, um, parang clingy to me kasi syempre, like, you know, during the stages um, uh, up until like, having a child, you know, I want to always be there for her and I want to show her that I'm always gonna be there for her. Um, so yeah, parang she's clinger now um, because I feel like she needs me more now. Well, actually, I kami dalawa ni Ryan, team boy kami parehas. Pero sabi ko nga, kahit anong gender, basta importante sa amin, healthy si baby. Pili ko talaga, I, I, I feel it's a boy. People ask me kung anong sa tingin mo, I, I feel like it's a boy.
Melly's diapers, changing shield. Uh, God-fearing, mabait, masunod sa magulang, and sana maging kamukha ni Ryan kung boy. <laughs> kung boy man, pero pag girl, sana ako yung kamukha. <laughs> um, I, sure, I want my baby to be healthy, number one. Healthy and good sa sports, good sa business. And so, Ryan and Katrina, you have the option to just get married civilly, but you decided to get married in this Catholic wedding. And that means you are placing Jesus in your relationship. You are placing Jesus at the center of your marital life.